Hello, my name is Mark Arnold. I am the Electronic Product Sales Manager for SMC. Today I'm going to show you our EQ series simple electric actuator. We're going to start with the EQFS series and show you within the software how easy it is to set this up. So with the screen that you see now, I'm going to hit the easy setup button. He's going to go through a couple warnings to make sure everything is safe around you. Now we see the easy setup screen. What you'll notice is on the upper left, we see the operation mode is single solenoid mode. And what this is, is a way to operate this just like a single solenoid pneumatic system. You can see the settings here to move to the opposite end. This is the end away from the uh, retract stroke. This is the acceleration values, speed values, and deceleration values. You can also see when we return to the origin end, the same settings and it gives you even an estimated cycle time. Below that, you see the position setup. You're seeing the origin end position and the opposite end position. Note that although this is a 100 millimeter stroke actuator, you can set these positions anywhere along the stroke that you desire by entering those numeric values into the tables here or the fields here. For example, on the opposite end, if I do not want to go the complete 100 millimeter stroke, I can type in 90. Once I do that, I can then write that data from the PC down to the controller. It's going to say, are you sure? I'm going to click OK. Now that's completed. All right. Now that I've loaded in the, the values for this, you can see again, I'm just going with the defaults that are in here already. And I'm going to operate this by using the IO cable. This is the IO cable here, and it only uses digital inputs. So I'm going to do the IN1 digital input bit. And to watch this in operation, I'm going to go to the long monitor screen. Again, it's going to ask you to check your surveys. Sure nothing is currently operated. Now I'm going to activate the IN1 bit and this should extend. Notice it extended all the way. When I remove that input, it retracts. Again, if I start extending and remove it before it completes stroke, it'll retract. This operates just like a single solenoid pneumatic system, pneumatic valve. Okay, now let's say we want to operate this like a new, uh, double solenoid valve. So let's go back to the easy setups. As I do that, I can change the mode. Go into the double solenoid mode, and then I'm writing that down to the controller. I'm saying okay. I had to make sure I turn off the motor here, so bear with me just a moment while I do so. Okay, now that we're in double solenoid mode, we're going to test this out. To do the extend, we're going to operate using IN1. My quiet powered IN1, it fully extends. If I apply power to IN0, it will retract. And you notice that the speed is different because that's the way we set it. Also notice that I do not have to hold down the power on the inputs. So I can just momentarily touch it and remove that. It will still continue on. Just like a detended double solenoid pneumatic valve. Okay, we're going to see how the operation is done with the three position closed center. So I'm going to go in here to go to the closed center mode. And you'll notice in the closed center mode, now there is a third position. And we can choose that third position anywhere along the travel. It doesn't have to be in the exact middle. So we can choose anywhere we want to with that. I'm going to go with the default values of the speeds, acceleration, and position. I'm going to write that data to the controller. And then I'm going to cycle power to the unit itself. So now we've cycled power and we should be in closed center mode. So I'm going to reconnect to the actuator. I'm going to go to the alarm monitor page. So you have to click to the warnings again here. And now we should be able to test this. Uh, the unit is currently extended, so I'll need to retract it. By doing that, I will have to use IN0. You see that IN0 is applied. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply IN1 to extend it. Again, I'm going to use IN0 to retract it. But you notice that I left off the control of the IN0, or I discontinued power to IN0, and it stopped in mid-position or somewhere close to mid-position. 
So it's just like a closed center solenoid valve. If you de-energize it, it will stop and hold position. So you'll see the same thing when I try to extend it. It only extended part of the way. Again, because I removed power to IM1. Now the next question would be, well, how do I get to that third position I programmed? To do that, I need to apply power to both IM1 and IM0 at the same time. And when I do that, it will go to the program midpoint. But again, I'll have to hold those inputs down until it achieves that position. Then you'll see output 2 come on as well to verify that it's in position. So again, you can see now, very simple, three ways to set this up. Single solenoid mode, double solenoid mode, and closed center solenoid mode. Hopefully this gives you a good idea how this is so simple to operate with just two digital inputs and two digital outputs to verify a position. So it again, it operates just like a pneumatic system with a solenoid valve and two switches on the sensors of the cylinder. Thank you.